everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tyne. And I'm here today with the first in a new series of videos, which I'm doing in collaboration with Lamazi Fabrics. So as you know, or may not know, <laughs> I am part of the blogger team for Lamazi Fabrics and I've made one thing for them, well, two things, <laughs> but I've shared one garment that I've made on their blog before and that was the Tilly and the Button Seren dress. So recently I've been chatting to Liana who is one of the owners of Lamazi Fabrics and we were talking about a possible YouTube video that we could do. So as the conversation was going on we sort of came to a, an agreement or a plan of what we thought a good series of videos would be and that is how to sew with and then a different fabric type. So each month or every few weeks, I'll bring you a new video which will talk through what a certain type of fabric is, my hints and tips for sewing with that fabric, I will share a make that I've made with that type of fabric, I'll also show you some examples of that fabric from the Lamazi Fabrics website, and there will also be a discount code for you to purchase that type of fabric from Lamazi. As well as that, I'll also share my pattern suggestions for that type of fabric. So hopefully you like that concept and it's going to be useful for you. And no, it should particularly be useful for maybe people who are less experienced sewists, who are just starting out or just getting to know what the different types of fabric are. I'm hoping that this will be useful for you and maybe everyone. It'll just be interesting, I think. Just before we get started, I've got a slightly new setup, which you might notice, not in terms of the room, but Sam has treated me to some lights so that the lighting is a bit better. So if you notice a difference with the lighting, that is what it is. I will talk to you about what I'm wearing a little bit later because this is the focus of the video. I've got on my gorgeous hedgehog necklace, which is from Tati Divine. In the background on my mannequin, often people ask in the comments what is on the mannequin. Now I always do write it in the description box down below, but that is the Nina Lee Mayfair dress and it's made in a gorgeous Lady McElroy viscose crepe fabric. So as you will have guessed from the title of the video, today's video and today's fabric focus is all about French terry. So first of all, what is French terry? So French terry is a soft and comfortable fabric. It's often used for active wear and lounge wear, but actually it has many more uses than that. So terry cloth is a type of fabric that is quite absorbent. It has loops and it can either be woven or knitted. Now the woven type of terry cloth is often used for towels. So like your bath towel or your beach towel. So those types of terry cloth fabrics, the types that's used for towels, don't stretch. French terry is the knitted variety of terry cloth fabric. It is smooth on one side of the fabric. So like what I'm wearing, it's smooth on the outer side or the right side. And then on the back, it has that looped texture. In terms of the weight of French terry, it's heavier than a cotton jersey, but it's probably lighter than like a sweatshirt fleece fabric. It's mostly made from cotton fibres, but then there'll be a small amount of something else in it to give it that stretch. So that might be polyester, spandex, lycra, rayon, something like that, just to give it that stretch. Now, the French terry that I'm wearing, which is See You At Six fabric, has 96% cotton and 4% spandex. So now we know a little bit about what French terry is, I will talk to you about what I'm wearing. So I have made the Paper Cut Patterns Fjord cardigan. I've made this before and I've shared it on Instagram and on a previous video, but this time I was delighted to be able to choose some French terry from the Lamazi Fabrics website, which they kindly sent to me in collaboration with this video. So I looked at the See You At Six fabrics and I really loved the colours of these fabrics because they're very autumnal. I'm loving these sort of rust colours at the moment. I chose a combination of two different See You At Six fabrics and then also the matching ribbing. Now I absolutely love this pattern. The Paper Cut Patterns Fjord Cardi is just 
a fantastic pattern. I love the construction of it. I love the shape of the pieces and how they all fit together. It's just really satisfying. And when you see the line drawings as it takes you through the steps of how to make it, you'll understand what I mean. It's just a really satisfying sew. It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle, putting all the pieces together. I really, really love it. And also with those amazing style lines in it, it gives you the opportunity to use different fabrics or coordinating fabrics like I've done to make your garment and I really love that about it. With French Terry being quite a stable fabric, when I was cutting this out, I didn't have any problems. I used a couple of clips, a pattern weight here and there, and I used my rotary cutter and it cuts beautifully. Before I cut it out, obviously I did pre-wash it just to take out any shrinkage. So I just wash my fabrics on a 30 degree wash and then I hang them to dry, but make sure that they're dry drying in one layer or they're not skew with so that they don't stretch out at all when they are drying. The edges of the fabric didn't roll up much once it had been washed and dried so that was great and as I said I used my rotary cutter to cut it out and that was fantastic. In terms of sewing this up I did the majority of it on the overlocker and the overlocker copes really really well with French Terry. I would advise what I did which was to test out my overlocker settings on some scraps of French Terry just to play about with the settings to make sure I got the stitches exactly as I wanted them. So I would suggest that you do that too. I'm not going to tell you what settings I ended up using for mine because everybody's overlockers will probably be different. I would just suggest getting some scraps at the start, playing around with the tension on maybe the lower looper, the upper looper, the needle threads, all of that just to make sure that you are happy with the settings that you're going to use. But then, yeah, as I say, it was such a quick sew on the overlocker and it coped really well with the French Terry, even when it was quite bulky and it was going through maybe two or three layers, it was absolutely fine. There were some parts that you needed to use the sewing machine for. So for example, there's the top stitching around the neckband. There's also the basting of the pockets at the start. So I did use my sewing machine for some of that. I used a ballpoint needle. These are the ones that I used. I actually used the highest number of ballpoint needle in the pack. So they come in either 70, 80 or 90. I opted for the 90 because French Terry is quite thick and I was sewing through a few layers at a time. I did decide to use the 90 and it was absolutely perfect. I used a zigzag stitch for some of it but then actually my top stitching around the neckband I've just used a straight stitch because it doesn't need any stretch in that part of the garment so a straight stitch is absolutely fine. The only other aspect that I'll mention is when you're pressing with the iron obviously just be careful test out a little bit on your fabric first but for me it was no problems whatsoever I found it pressed absolutely fine with a medium to high heat on my iron. So yeah, I'm really happy with my Fjord Cardi. I really love the different ways that I've used the fabric. And I've also used this fabric in different directions. So you can see here these blotches or whatever they are, <laughs> bits of color are going horizontal. But then on the sleeve, I've used them vertically and the same on the pocket and the side panels, I've got them going in different directions. Then I've just got the plain French Terry here and I've also got it let's remember where, on these panels here and also on the hem band. So it's, like I said, it's a really great opportunity to use different fabrics and the See You At Six fabric collections are great for that because they come in coordinating sets that you can mix and match together. I've got another example here to show you which I'm going to use to make a Christmas present for a family friend. So we've got the lovely watering can print fabric and then that goes along with the plain blue and it's a perfect match and then there's also the ribbon that coordinates as well so I'm going to combine those to make a gorgeous little outfit for our friend's little boy. So what I thought I'd do now is just take you over to the Lamazi Fabrics website and show you their French Terry section. So you can actually on their website search fabrics by the different type and if you click on French Terry it takes you to their range of French Terries. So let's do that now. So you click on the fabric tab and it's got a little arrow and then you go to fabric by type and then you scroll down and click on French Terry 
and you will see that there are 42 products at the moment. Now the majority of what Lamazi fabric stock is CU at 6 and they always get the CU at 6 collections in as soon as they're launched. They also stock a couple of other French terries which are Danish collection or Danish design. Now one of theirs is actually a brushed fleece fleecy backed French terry but they also do a looped back. They're also really high quality as well but the CU at six are definitely a favorite. So as you scroll through, you'll see they've got the planes and then they've also got the patterned fabrics. There's the watering can fabric that I mentioned earlier. Some of the new collection, I really love the Mallard Green French Terry in the cozy house plant design. I think that's beautiful. There you can see the fabric that I have used for my Fjord Cardi, which is the Scribble Cloud Desert Wood French Terry. And then there's the plain Desert Wood French Terry, which is the other fabric that I used for my cardigan. You can see they've got some remnant French Terries at reduced prices, which is awesome. And I love that Danish design there, the wild chervil teal soft sweatshirt, and that's a lovely design. So yeah, lots and lots of gorgeous options. The CU at six fabrics are extremely high quality and I would recommend them. They are so, so soft and beautiful to work with. So although you might look at them at first and think they're a little bit pricier than maybe other fabrics, they are well worth the money, I would highly recommend them. At the end of the video, I will give you a discount code that will get you 15% off all of those fabrics there. So the whole French Terry collection on Lamazi fabrics, you can get 15% off, which is awesome. Oh, there's a second page. I didn't go to the second page, Never mind. So yeah, on the second page, there's some gorgeous fabrics. I love the dinosaur print, that is awesome. I also really love the wild garlic blossom fabric from See What Six, that's beautiful. Lots to choose from. And then I'll just show you the ribbon collection because they go along with those French terries. So again, I'll click on fabric, fabric by type, and it's just cuff ribbing. And you'll see there that there's the See What Six ribbon that coordinates with the different collections. So they've always got a name. So there's the Mallard Green that goes with the houseplant Mallard Green print that I was showing you earlier. There's the Desert Wood ribbing, which is the one that I have used. So all of the fabrics and the ribbing have the same name, the same colour name to help you pick them out and match them together. And with the ribbing, you only need a small amount. So half a metre is plenty or they have some remnant pieces on there as well, which is great. Right, so now I've shown you the selection of French Terries available on Lamazi Fabrics. I thought I'd talk you through some pattern suggestions for using French Terry fabric. Now, obviously I would definitely recommend this, the Paper Cut Patterns Fjord Cardi. For all of the reasons that I mentioned earlier, it's a super easy construction. It's really satisfying. It's super comfortable. It allows you to use the different fabrics that coordinate together, so it's perfect for using the CU at six collections. And I couldn't recommend it highly enough. So other patterns that I would suggest to go with French Terry fabric are, are, is, <laughs> are, the Gemma Sweater by Named Clothing. So the reason I picked this one is because it's got that lovely color blocked design on the front of the sweatshirt that would again, be a really great way to use the different fabrics in the CU at six collections because you can coordinate and pick out. You might have the patterned fabric for the majority of the jumper and then the plain for the chevron on the front or the other way around. So yeah, I think that's a great pattern for this fabric. Another one would be the Grainline Studio Linden sweatshirt. So that's a great opportunity to use the ribbing for the neckband, the hem and the cuffs. And then just one of the other fabrics for the main body and the sleeves. In a similar style, there's the I Am Patterns Apollon jumper, which is the men's pattern. So if you want to make 
a jumper for a man that you know then that would be a great option as well and some of the see what six fabrics really are for anybody i wouldn't say many of them are very gender specific although anybody can wear anything so there you go the Tilly and the Buttons Nora sweatshirt, which is a firm favourite of mine, that would be great with French Terry, as would the Nina Lee Southbank sweater. Again, that gives you the opportunity for the roll neck, the cuffs and the hemband to be in one of the different fabrics, maybe the plain, and then you could have the patterned fabric for the rest of the garment. A couple that I haven't tried, but I thought would be fantastic patterns as well for French Terry would be the Pumpkin Cardi by Coco Wawa Crafts and also the Casey Sweater by Experimental Space. And then there's also some gorgeous children's patterns that you might want to use. All of these are available on Lamazi Fabrics as well, but obviously you could buy them elsewhere if you wanted to, but it would be great for you to just pop one of these into your order while you're ordering your French Terry fabric pop in a pattern as well and then away you go. So yeah, there's some lovely children's patterns. Now, I can't, I don't think I can say the name of the pattern company. Is it I? Kate or I cat E? I'm really not sure, I'm really sorry. If anybody could tell me how that's supposed to be pronounced, I would appreciate it. But they have some absolutely gorgeous patterns that will be perfect for French Terry. I thought the Jules Bomber would be ideal and also the Gabby PJ jumpsuit, just to pick out a couple, but there's loads more that will be perfect for French Terry. And obviously with it being a children's pattern, you wouldn't need an awful lot of fabric. So you could purchase a small amount and make something gorgeous for a child of your own or somebody else's. And I'm sure they would really appreciate it. If you were wondering, sorry, I should have mentioned earlier, but how much fabric I did use for this cardigan, I used a metre of the, the patterned fabric, cloud scribble, <laughs> scribble cloud. And I had a meter of the plain, but I didn't use it all. I did have some left over, but half a meter wouldn't have been enough. So if you were going to make the Fjord Cardi, I would say you would need a meter of each, definitely. And then Liana just sent me a small amount of the ribbon, but obviously you would need half a meter is the minimum you can purchase it in on Lamazi Fabrics unless you get a remnant or you don't need to use the ribbon you could just use some of that plain fabric I could have used that for the cuff and that would have been absolutely fine so I hope you've enjoyed the first video in my new how to sew with series and learning a little bit more about French Terry and exploring the possibilities for you to sew with it yourself as I've mentioned a couple of times, Lamazi Fabrics have offered you a discount code for purchasing French Terry fabrics from their website. So this discount code gets you 15% off all of their French Terries and all of the ribbing as well. And it's valid until the 31st of October, so the end of October this year. The code you need to type in is Tamlin so with all in capitals, and that gets you 15% off when you spend £35 on your order. Now, it's free postage in the UK, and if you spend a certain amount, it's free postage to the US as well, and Europe. So hopefully you might go off and treat yourself to some of the beautiful French Terry over at Lamazi Fabrics, or if you've got some French Terry already in your collection, your fabric stash, you might be tempted to get sewing with it sooner. I would love to hear from you what are your favourite patterns for using French Terry. Do you sew with it often? Is it something that you've maybe avoided because you weren't sure what to make with it but now you might be tempted? Also on my community tab I'm going to put out a poll for you to vote on what the next category should be for the next video in this series. So my how to sew with whatever fabric that might be, I'm going to give you some options and I'd like you to vote on the community tab. So it might be that you're interested in learning a bit more about that fabric or it's something that you would like to have a discount code for and therefore you pick it for that reason. But whatever reason it might be, I'd love you to vote on that poll and let me know which fabric you'd like to learn a little bit more about next. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I've really enjoyed this video and sharing my latest make with you. Thank you to Lamazi Fabrics for collaborating with me on this and for sending me this fabric, it's wonderful. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. 
I hope to see you again very soon. If you haven't hit subscribe already, I would love you to and give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. I'll see you again very soon. Happy sewing. Bye. And that coincide, coincide. Do that again.